Hey everybody, welcome to Free Handly Made AU My Autistic Life. My name is Nisi and this is my channel. Tonight, as you can tell, I'm cooking. Got my sunflower apron on, which I just love. My friend Phyllis made it for me. Thank you, Phyllis. Anyway, so we're having barbecue chicken for dinner tonight. But that's not what this video is about. I have a small little four pound pumpkin here. And I am going to roast it. That's right. It's going to be part of our dinner tonight. I'm going to roast it. I'm going to, I'm going to, first I'm going to, I'm going to cut it up, obviously. Get all the seeds out. Save the seeds. I'm going to slice it. And then I'm going to put my um, special ingredients on there. And I'm going to pop it in the oven. I'm going to roast it. And it's going to be delicious. So, yes. Um, you want to get a pumpkin that's two pounds, um, like those little pie pumpkins are better. I wouldn't go over four pounds. This one's, this one, I mean, we're probably going to end up having leftovers, either that or what we don't eat. I will mash up and put in the container and put it in the freezer and use it, um, in my pumpkin pie, um, pumpkin cream pie, I should say. Um, but this is four pounds. This is, I wouldn't go any bigger than this for what I'm about to do. This actually is a really perfect size if you want to make just a small little pot of pumpkin soup. If you have a family of four or under, um, obviously if you have a bigger family, you're going to want a bigger pumpkin for pumpkin soup. But as a side dish to go with your main meal, you don't want a huge pumpkin because you'll be eating roasted pumpkin forever. Um, and if you're like me, your freezer only has so much space. So... I'm going to do this step by step and uh, show you guys how, how I roast pumpkin. Stay tuned. All right, the first step is um, cutting the top off, which is right here. Um, the next step is I'm going to get all this, goo this, this stuff cut out. And an easier way to do that is I'm just going to cut my pumpkin in half make my life a whole lot easier. I'm going to be slicing this up anyway into slices so I don't need my pumpkin. In a bowl. So here we go. So it's sliced. So we're going to just do all of this out and um, get this ready to slice up. So stay tuned for that. All right. So I've got them nice and gutted and they're ready to go as you can see. I scraped all the insides out in here and the reason is is because this pumpkin was grown locally and uh, so I'm gonna be saving all these seeds I'm gonna dry them out and we're gonna try and plant these next year in our garden yes we are so Z hopefully since he likes to play in goo will help me get all the seeds out and then the rest of this we'll, we'll throw away if we had cows on our property still, I would definitely feed this gooey stuff to the cows. They love it. Um, but we don't. And I don't have chickens. We don't have any livestock here. Um, because I would be the one who would have to physically take care of that livestock. And I'm in no position to do that right now. But there are a ton of seeds. Now there are way more seeds than I need. And so some of these seeds that I dry will be part of my giveaway. Um, so... If you are interested in pumpkin seeds um, that were grown here in Montana, let me know. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Alright, so I've got my cookie sheet here per with a parchment paper on it. Okay, and basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice about an inch, about an inch thick. Ooh, don't slice the finger, y'all. Careful of your fingers. Be very careful doing this. Don't be like me. My knife is not near sharp sharp enough. I need my husband to sharpen our knives again. So you're going to cut them like you would a cantaloupe, basically. Okay. Um, and when I'm get done with this, I'll come bring you back and show you what I'm going to do next. But this is about the size you want them to be. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my glaze. Um, now, you can use melted butter, but 
I try to stay away from melted butter as much as possible and so I am using um, olive oil and I'm using the kind of olive oil that is good for roasting and most olive oils will say on the label that it is good for roasting. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here. I don't know. I'm not really measuring. Just enough to coat the bottom of your bowl. Probably a, couple, a good couple of, maybe a good tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. One fourth cup of brown sugar. Light brown sugar, not dark, use light. And I'm, I'm packing it in to the cup, like so. And now I wanted to do my own pumpkin spice, but I am out of um, grounded clove. Um, I have the nutmeg and I have the cinnamon and I actually have clove, but it's the clove seeds, it's not grounded. So luckily I did have some pumpkin spice um, seasoning up there. And so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use one teaspoon. It doesn't smell cinnamony, cinnamony enough for me though, so I may end up adding some more cinnamon to it, but I'll taste it first before I do that. But this pumpkin spice has my nutmeg and it has my clove in it and it does have cinnamon in it. So that is one way you can cheat um, if you're out of one of your ingredients that you need. Make sure you guys can see. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and smash it. And you're basically what you're doing is you're making a paste. Because when the brown sugar roasts, it is going to turn into a liquid. So you don't want this to be liquid and you're gonna be literally rubbing it on your pumpkin as like a rub. So you want it to be moist, but you don't want it to be syrupy, if that makes any sense. So this is the consistency you want it, okay? I like pumpkin more than just pumpkin pie. Um, and this year, I am gonna be doing a pumpkin cream pie, which is so funny because Country Mama Mama Musings last night was talking about sharing a video on a recipe on pumpkin pre cream pie and I told her I'm so excited because I actually want to make that this year and I had just told somebody else that I know that I wanted to make it and that I was going to look for recipe so huh I may end up using hers um, and it's a no-bake pumpkin cream pie um, I make my husband uh, peanut butter pie every year so I'm like well why not all right so I'm just gonna do one half of the pumpkin for right now just so I can show you guys what you need to do. Alright, so I'm just going to take the seasoning and rub it generously on the pumpkin. You're going to make a mess, don't worry about making a mess. It's going to happen. And you're going to rub it on there. Just rubbing it. Rub, rub, rub. Pat it, rub it. And this does make a mess, so you might want to use latex gloves if you're a kind of person that doesn't like your hands get messy, because this is going to get your hands get this is going to get your hands messy. It just is. All right. Then I'm going to place it on my cookie sheet. Now, pumpkin pie slices actually taste really good with like chili powder, salt, pepper, and a little bit of onion. That's another way that you can eat this roasted. Um, I've heard that it's absolutely delicious. My family is not a spicy family. We cannot handle spicy foods. We've just never been able to handle spicy foods. Um, so that is not something we would eat. Um, but I would eat roasted buttered garlic pumpkin um, because that reminds me of pumpkin soup 
and that is actually delicious. So if you're not a sweet person, you can do this with just butter and garlic as well, or olive oil and garlic, whatever suits your poison. we get both sides. That piece of punk is going to fall on me. You know what? We're just going to let it. I'm going to let it fall right there. I just kind of lay them on kind of on top of each other like this. You guys can see that. Just lay them kind of on top of each other a little bit, and next to each other. All right, um, I'm going to do the rest of these, and I'm going to cut the rest of this pumpkin, and then I'll tell you what to do from there. All right, I am just going to add a little bit of cinnamon. just for dusting um, now the next thing you want to do look how pretty that already looks really good you guys look at that look at that look, oh, look how nice that looks the next thing you want to do is you want to set the oven on bake to 400 degrees and this is gonna bake I'm gonna put it up um, on the timer for 15 minutes uh, possibly it can take up to 20 minutes because it is a four pound pumpkin and not a two pound um, but I'm going to do 15 minutes just in case because I don't want it to burn. Um, burned pumpkin does not taste good. No, it does not. So, y'all, I'm going to put this first round of pumpkin rinds or pumpkin slices in the oven. Stay tuned to see what it looks like. Mm, I might just have to taste test it too. Stay tuned, guys. All right, you guys, pulled it out of the oven. The way you know that it's ready is you can pierce or fork through it. I'm going to take this off real quick. And see how easy that fork goes in? Real easy. That's how you know it's ready. So, there you go, guys. There you go. And me, I'm going to taste test this for y'all. See how this is. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all. That is better than apple slices in a pumpkin pot. I promise you, if I had vanilla ice cream, I would totally cut that up, put it in a bowl with vanilla ice cream. Kid you not. That is absolutely heaven in the mouth. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick little cooking video. I don't do cooking videos very often. Um, but I had to share this because I love pumpkin. I do, and I want more than just pumpkin pie. And pumpkin is a squash. It's not a veg it's not a fruit, it's a vegetable. So why not? Why not bake it and roast it like any other squash and eat it with your dinner? Chicken still cooking. I got another round of pumpkin slices in the oven roasting right now. The house smells so good. Mr. Handsome actually woke up, came out of the bedroom and said it smells like pumpkin in here. I said, well, it smells good, right? He's like, it smells good in here. Is dinner ready? I'm like, nope, you have time to go take a shower. Not ready yet. <laughs> but it smells good up in this house. Y'all, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the upcoming holidays and stay safe. Get in your cooking kitchen and cook something good. Enjoy your harvest. I know we are. Love from Montana. Always remember, dare to be you and dare to be different. Bye, everybody.